When analysing census data, it's tempting just to grab a number that seems to answer your immediate question. Our experience as census analysts tells us that it's much more effective to tell a story with the data by putting numbers in context. I'm going to use the City of Sydney's community profile to show you a technique for turning numbers into stories. We call it dominant and emerging analysis. Before I start, it's worth having a look at the boundary for the City of Sydney, which incorporates only the CBD area plus the suburbs immediately surrounding it. So it doesn't include the whole metropolitan area of Sydney. So imagine you are analysing the current levels of demand for childcare services in the community. You'll want to know how many preschool aged children there are. In the city of Sydney, there were 6,068 in 2011. Sure, this gives us a number to work with, but it doesn't really tell us anything about whether this level of demand is typical or whether it is growing or declining. So on all Profile ID websites, we present the raw numbers in a particular context. You can see that 6068 equates to 3.6% of the population in the city of Sydney. Is this a high proportion or is it low? To answer that question, you need a benchmark. And we've benchmarked the city of Sydney to the Greater Sydney metropolitan area, where 6.8% of the population are aged between 0 and 4. So in fact, this number of 6,068 is quite low relative to the total size of Sydney's population. However, since 2006, the number has grown quite significantly by 870 children. And it's also grown proportionally from 3.3% of the population to 3.6% of the population. So we can conclude that we have 6,068 preschoolers to cater for, but that this is a low figure given the size of the population, but it is growing. You can see the value of this kind of analysis even more clearly when we look at the charts. In the first chart under every table, we can see how each age group in the City of Sydney compares to the more broader metropolitan area. You can quickly see that the City of Sydney is dominated by young adults aged 25 to 34 and 18 to 24. When we use the term dominant, we mean a group that is significantly greater than the benchmark. So even though there are more 35 to 49 year olds than 18 to 24 year olds in the City of Sydney, 18 to 24 year olds are dominant when compared to the benchmark. It's really saying the City of Sydney has a fairly typical proportion of 35 to 49 year olds, but much higher proportions of 18 to 24 year olds than is typical for Sydney metropolitan area. You can see that children and people over the age of 50 are present in much lower proportions than the benchmark. In other words, the City of Sydney's population is dominated by young adults, workers and students. The next chart shows us how age structure is changing. You can see which age groups are declining and which age groups are emerging. Are the emerging age groups the same as the dominant age groups, signalling business as usual, or are they different? In the city of Sydney, the biggest growth is in 25 to 34 year olds, reinforcing the dominance of that group. However, the second most dominant group, which was 18 to 24 year olds, is actually in decline. And the number of babies and the number of retirees is growing. This can signal a change in the priorities for councils when planning their service delivery. We call this way of analysing populations dominant and emerging analysis, and it is a very powerful way of turning data into stories about your community and how it is changing.